Hey everyone, it's Abby, and I just wanted to pop in quickly to share some of my thoughts about what Hobonichi journals I've been using this year, and maybe also I can share with you some insights I got from using them, how I've managed to organize my information and figure out what to use for each purpose. And since planner season is coming up this September, I wanted to share with you also my personal review on these um, journals that you see here. And these are unbiased reviews. These are just how I use them. And I want to give you maybe some tips because then it would be easier, hopefully for you, as the Hobonichi lineup comes out and when you are going to get your own planners and journals towards the end of this year. So let's get started. And to give an idea, this is the Hobonichi Plane notebook right here. This is Hobonichi Weeks. And this is the Hobonichi Techo original in A6. This is the full year in one journal. So make sure to check out the timestamps down below. And let's get started. So if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you would know that this is actually my media journal. I recycled the Hobonichi camp cover from 2021. And then inside, um, this actually, um, some of the posters and book covers that I still have to update for my media journal. And um, this one is my media journal. It's the Hobonichi Play Notebook. So when you say plain, there is literally nothing inside and it has a small grid and it basically cuts across like four i think there are four different colorways but i don't really bother with that but generally this is my media journal um you can check out my previous media journal videos to have an idea on how i use it but personally i really like it the size is great I also have a default size for the posters that I use and with that it's become easier for me to just organize my information accordingly. If I had my way, maybe I would go for an A5 personally just because I write, I prefer to write bigger. But the portability of this and I like how everything is just in one little book makes it a bit easier for me. There's some sort of satisfaction that I get because one spread like this, which is two pages, I get to finish my review. So I like doing that. Um, some films will have shorter reviews depending on how it made me feel, if I really, really liked it, or if it's a rom-com, usually it's just like a short one pager. So yeah, I am more than, more or less like halfway and I still have a lot of backlog to catch up on. So I really um, treasure my time updating this because it's my little personal um, opportunity for being a film critic of some sort. And I don't really like sharing my thoughts about these things online. I just like to review films. I'm not an expert about them. I just really feel very strongly about films and I, I really am passionate about films and books and the media I consume. So that's why this book existed. But yeah, I don't know if I wanna continue having an A6 one. Maybe I will go with an A5 next year, who knows? But I really like the Play Notebook. If you're looking for something to just dump ideas in and you want it pocket friendly, this is your best bet. Next up, we have the star of the show. So this is the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, it's kind of like my life log, I think. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, I didn't expect it to be what it is now. I had thought of it becoming a tarot um, log or astrology log, but uh, honestly, it's I like how it is now. So actually these ones on the monthlies, they are my uh, media log. So for example, if I watch a film or something that day, I will log it here or stuff that I wanna read. And I really enjoy how it's turning out. Um, for the past few months, it's been really great because it provided me an opportunity as well to 
use my fountain pens and my fountain pen inks and for me that's really important because I used to collect a lot of fountain pen inks. Actually, I sold most of them right as of this um, recording. I don't really have that much anymore, especially back in the Philippines. But before I was using it to really um, track my inks and the color combinations. And I'm really huge fan of matching colors. So you can definitely see that come to life in these spreads. I also did try doing something like this where I letter everything and it was really fun, but I don't think I will do it again. Um, they, I do have a mix of things that I do here. For example, uh, packages to arrive, happy mail to pack, the food log, media log, depending on what is um, urgent or on my mind that week. But I really like putting something in like pockets of good things. This is actually one of my favorite spreads because it allowed me to really like write down things that I wanted to um, keep in mind and also um, allowed me to plan out stuff. But always on the right side, you will see there is a habit tracker like this. It's my little way of tracking things from my um, walking to reading to journaling to sleeping to be more mindful and that in itself is really important for me because I can get so out of hand with my own health and because of that I became more um, aware of what I'm feeling and how I'm feeling and this little weeks really helped me get back on track with that also it's a good excuse to show that I am actually like reporting somewhere reporting about my life somewhere so this is like my little book for that and it can be really detailed or it can be really short but i just try to fit in whatever i can with the little boxes um some people use this mostly for planners but as planner as a planner rather but i don't um it's just a preference that i've had because i don't know i can't fit my plans here i have way too much stuff i'll explain that in the next um, Hobonichi that I'm using because I my plans change a lot and this 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 one is just too small for it I know some people like divide it accordingly and whatnot I've tried doing that but as a planner it just won't work for me so it's a no as you can see here so I don't really want to push it to that limit right now um, at the back, I do have my tarot readings. A lot of you have been asking how I do them. I just do short one-pagers like these because I don't really have a lot of time to um, reflect on tarot. I wish I was studying more about tarot, but I don't really have that much time right now to do that and I have other responsibilities. But it's just nice to always just log in my, my readings here. At the back, I have a monthly report and a very loose list of books I want to read, TV shows I want to watch, but haven't really done that, so it's still in the works. I also have this monthly report where I write um, key highlights from the month, which is great. So there, I just plan to finish that until December, and that is entirely what my Hobonichi Weeks is. Um, I don't know also if I want to continue the Hobonichi weeks because I actually have a TN um, TN weekly vertical that I use which I'll link down below so I don't know if using this and that would be both redundant so I still have to think about that maybe if the covers were really nice I would definitely have a go at it so that's still TBD So last but definitely not the least, we have the Hobonichi Tacho 2022 A6 size, original. It's also called original. And it is the Sunday start, as you can see here. That explains why this one is red, because the gray one or the dark one is um, Monday start. So you're probably wondering why this doesn't seem familiar to you if you watched my 2022 lineup video. This actually is supposedly my art log, but a couple of things changed actually since um, doing the current setup that I do have for my planning. So just a side note, 
Ideally, I would be using the Jibun Techo Biz for the entire year. However, I realized that it didn't really work for me ever since I moved to Germany, and I'll explain why. So, if you remember, the Jibun Techo is basically a weekly view like this, and the whole idea is the whole um, the time blocking is here, so it's an entire 24 hours. And you can actually plot your appointments, your work tasks, and whatnot. You even have a mood tracker here and um, your meals. However, I noticed I used to be super time based. Like when I was in this, using this in December, I was super like, okay, let's get all the appointments in, nail it down. Um, it did work for a time because last year I was super into time blocking and it really helped me get more work done. But one thing that I didn't anticipate was moving to an, a new city means I have to rearrange my entire schedule and my routine to what is fit for me. And I realized that time blocking no, no longer serves me because apart from the schedules that you see here, I actually have a lot of... Um, notes and my problem is i can't plot in the notes so that's one problem the second problem is i cannot um move tasks i can move tasks i can like um use correction fluid or whatnot but it just wasn't so convenient for me i think that's the bottom line it was not convenient um and also my appointments really change a lot depending on what will happen so it's kind of impractical for me to plan everything and then just expect things to turn out properly in the way that it should so i just didn't um find it useful actually also when i'm traveling i never um filled it up so in some way i really tried to be patient with it but it didn't really work out so after july i just decided to not use it anymore um do i regret getting it no but also at least i know now that this is not the format that works for me now since that happened i just was not sure what to do basically and i was like okay should i just get a normal notebook like just blank and then i'll just fill it up as i go but I said, no, I don't think I want to do that. So I decided to use this. So this is kind of funny because the first four months were full of drawings and lettering work, as you can see here, because this is technically my art blog. However, um, for some reason, I did enjoy using this, but... I realized I don't draw every day, so after April, I actually stopped, and then I resumed in July, so that's where we are right now. So with July, I used the Midori um, calendar sticker to plot my schedule, and then I started to figure out how to best use the layout of the A6 for my planning needs so i'll give you a little close-up so firstly we have the month overview here and i found out that using the monthlies has been really useful in tracking all the things that i need to get done for the month so that's what you are seeing right here there's no weekly vertical view for um the a6 size which i feel like i'm not missing out on at the moment because i don't really need the weekly view anyway we're going straight to the daily view and I think this one really worked to my advantage because I just have a lot of side notes that I need to um, sort of put in every day. So for example, here you will see that the time is still there. There's kind of a time block system and there is this line here. So what I'm doing is the left hand side will be like my projected schedule for the day and then on the right hand side will be additional tasks, additional, um, how do you say this, like information or stuff I've worked on and that is going to give me some sort of, vi um, not visual, but like make me see the list of things that I have going on at that day. 
So this one still looks very organized because that was the start of my um, um, using of this planner. So something more um, detailed would be, for example, this one. Um, here on the left would be the work plans and then here on the right are like my to-do. So you'll see that some are marked. It means I'm finished doing them. Some have to be migrated, so I'm kind of using the bullet journal method in some way and I find that it's super helpful in this case because I get to see things as they go and then if I don't get it done, I can just move it to the next day, right? So, so far, that's how I've been um, organizing this and what I do is, I don't really put that much decorations or stickers or whatnot unless I have time for it, but also um, I don't over plan my plan is usually like i will refer back to my month and then go back here so then that way it's easier for me to just hop back and forth now i don't have a cover for this a6 i actually used i bought a midori a6 clear cover and it fits like a glove i bought it for the main purpose that it has a pen loop so I used the Pentel Energel Glenna for this, and it's really, really great for this purpose. I have, I tend to have very small handwriting when the um, the pages are small or the notebook is small, so that works. However, I don't have a bookmark, so what I do, what I did was I used this Oli magnet clip that my good friend Ilka gave me. By the way, this is a Sarah Faber sticker, super, super cute. Um, so I I use this for my month. So when I open the journal or the planner, it goes directly to the month. And then I bought this super cute clip from a random bookstore here in Berlin. So when you open it, it goes directly also to the designated page that I need to go. So it's, it's a very no frills kind of system. Um, I also was quite lucky because this these index tab uh, in the index stickers, this Hobonichi, I found a spare one in one of my covers. I don't remember having that, so I used it now to plot the months there. So yeah, it's not so complicated, but so far it's been helping me getting work done. I do have some icons here and other things, so I am really enjoying this little handy um, planner. Also, never would I expect to use an A6, but I have had this idea for the longest time. I'm actually glad I had pulled through and did it. And secondly, I also don't work that much in my apartment. I work in a co-working space, so it makes sense to have this, um, to have this portable A6 with me all the time. So that is it for this little review. I do hope you um, picked up some ideas and hopefully it will give you some sort of guide to what you'll be getting for this year's Hobonichi lineup for 2023. Let me know in the comments what you actually plan on getting. I also still have to figure out what mine is as of this recording. Thank you so much for watching and for more insider scoop and more journal updates and more um, exclusive content and videos, make sure to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash abc. I'll see you guys there. And special shout out to all my patrons who make it possible for me to use my journals and get my tools and help me live a more creative life and help me provide these videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. Always be creating and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.